Hello and welcome to Quartz Like Your Car Brochure channel and on today's Saturday Special Edition we're going to be looking at the Special Edition Vauxhall Cavalier Commander. Hello and welcome back to Quartz Light. and if you're actually new to Quartz Light, we're a car brochure channel looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, sometimes beyond that as well. So if you're interested in cars and car brochures, please consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. Anyway, today is Saturday. Happy weekend. Uh, it's a Saturday special edition where we look at a special edition of various different makes and models of car. And today's brochure special edition is indeed the Vauxhall Cavalier Commander. This particular brochure is dated September 1985 and is actually a UK brochure. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so the front cover now you can see at the top we've got the Vauxhall, the GM and the Opal badge on the top left there. Commander, um, Cavalier Commander I should say. Commander being the special edition of course. And promote yourself and our first little image of the Cavalier Commander. Like I say, this brochure is September 1985. So that would make it very much based on a Mark II facelift. Just to render got a little bit of a facelift on there. Let's zoom in on this main image though. And there we go, I zoomed in on that main image. It was quite a nice looking special edition, I must admit. I seem to remember around about this time they did like advertisements saying it's not just about the stripes or something like that. It doesn't have just stripes. I think possibly poking fun a little bit about Ford really. Some of their special editions weren't much more than a stripe. Um, but yeah, it looks very nice, doesn't it? It reminds me very much of an SR Cavalier actually. I particularly like these, these um, sports wheels. I don't think they're alloy, I'm not sure. But I particularly like these sports wheels in this sort of like anthracite colour. Um, overall, it looks a nice looking car. It was available as both a hatchback and a saloon and I think they produced around about 6,000 units. Looks like a little bit of a commander badge, an unusual spot that isn't it? a little decal above that front headlight. Um, and I do particularly like these uh, very proud looking Vauxhall badges, really big badge for the time. And as we open up a big fold out, you can see how big that uh, it is when it folds out in three pieces like that. Um, this time we get a side view of the saloon version Looking very sporty, I think at the time, you know, these red inserts, similar to Ford, always meant you was going to get something a little bit sporty, but it was only based on a 1.6, you can only get it as a 1.6, in fact you can only get it in silver as well, that's the only colour you could actually get this special edition in, and then the Vauxhall Cavaliers, there were a few special editions, and they were all using the 1.6s, so you had the um, Antilles I think, uh, the Club that was also a 1.6 and they also had the Calibra if you remember the special edition Cavalier but that was based on with a 2 litre injection I seem to remember and that had sort of these very strange sort of um, skirts I never particularly liked the look of that particular special edition although don't offend anyone I'm so sure a lot of people really, really love those um, but yes going by back to it being a bit of a sporty one with these sports wheels even a little bit of a boot spoiler but like I said just a lowly 1.6 let's have a look at some of this text and some of these sorts of images which are pointing out some of these special edition features top here it says rise from the ranks bit of a play on that commander word it says if you're a real individual you can do it you can not only own one of the best design cars on the road but one with all the individuality and insignia of a special edition a car on which we have not spared the honors for a start it's only available in silver metallic luxuries such as tinted glass and tilt slide glass sunroof may be taken for granted so first of all we have got those very noticeable then uh, anthracite sports wheels with ultra low profile tires uh, tilt sliding column and uh, what else have we got uh, the internal adjustable passenger door mirror very fancy five speed overdrive gearbox uh, the three sport sport steering wheel following on from that sporty theme I guess 
We also get a tilt slide glass sunroof with blind, all round tinted glass with screen shade band and the aerodynamic rear spoiler. So on here under the Commander word, it says special awards like the Anthracite sports wheels, the red Commander stripes and decals inside and out are generously though discreetly bestowed. However, in the interests of individuality, the edition is limited. So if you're going to rise from the ranks, you'll need to move, if not overnight, fast. And then as we fold this little bit of a flap over, we can see the interior, which we'll certainly zoom in on another little image of the side, but this time the hatchback. I think I preferred the hatchback, maybe looking a little bit more sporty, but I mean, that's just a personal thing. I quite like both these Mark II Cavaliers. I did like the Mark II Cavalier. And I think around about this time, 85, it was doing very well, wasn't it? Was it ahead of the Sierra at this time? I know the Sierra... Uh, eventually uh, outsold it but I think around this time it was a very good selling car maybe even the second best selling car in the UK don't quote me on that I might not be wrong just going by um, thinking back really anyway let's zoom in on this interior interesting interior although bits of a dull sort of grey colour which I'm not a huge fan of but livened up by that little bit of a red outline we've also got a little Vauxhall badge on there as well and the writing I'm presuming it's saying Commander let's zoom in it has indeed sort of that Commander stitched into the seats as well which you know makes it certainly stand out a little bit Text wise, it's saying the Cav Cavalier has always won the accolades. Best car in its class, a real driver's car, and it was always in our design brief to build such a car. A car for individuals, a car that we would respond to the individual driver's needs on all scores from feel, handling, and power to performance and style. And now the commander is here to answer this brief even further. Its individual features like the aerodynamic rear spoiler, the ultra low profile tyres, the height adjustable driver's seat, the free spoke, uh, sports steering wheel and the tilt steering column will make you feel like you're driving a custom built car. So for once you been win both ways, not only does the Cavalier Commander have the sleek silver appearance of a born leader, the te technological advanced ultra efficient 1600 engine behaves like one as well. Okay, uh, so that's just obviously a little bit of a zoom in on the hatchback version. Very much the standard feature is really them sports wheels, isn't it? They do really stand out, particularly with that silver bodywork. Like I say, this is obviously the hatch and the main picture was of course that saloon really showing that extra sort of stripe on there and then the sort of red inserts and of course the little bit of the spoiler on the boot spoiler there and also on the hatchback as well and there we go back page commander on the top again and specifications so let's have a look at these specifications and then we'll end by looking at that dealer stamp Okay, so first of all, confirmation that it is a 1600, a 1598cc four cylinder engine. Um, this is a bit unusual, isn't it? Manual choke with warning light for the manual transmission. The automatic choke with the automatic transmission. A little bit unusual. He's even got the performance here maximum speed manual 105.6 miles per hour, auto 102.5 miles per hour. No, not to 62 times or not to 60 times on here, unfortunately. But, you know, it's not going to be any sort of a whirlwind car, really, is it? I guess a cheaper way of getting into, like, an, you know, your SRs, SRI type of um, look to it, but without the price. Still has a nice five-speed um, overdrive gearbox and a three-speed auto. It's optional. Um, a little bit of information about the suspension and the steering. Obviously, if we need to read anything in any great detail, certainly pause the screen at any time. Brakes. A bit of a disc drum brake, as kind of like you would expect at this time, really. Uh, wheels and tyres. Uh, steel sports wheels. So, yeah, they're not alloy wheels, they're just steel, but certainly looks a bit different in that anthracite colour. 
electric of course 12 volt body all steel body of course choice of two aerodynamic body styles it says so the four door saloon or that five door hatch um, what else have we got on there safety crumple zones etc nothing really out of the ordinary in there it does say the cavalier commander carries a six years anti-rust perforation warranty and then it's got your know, usable load capacity and weights which obviously we're not going to go into in any great detail fuel consumption figures not bad at actually a constant 56 and you can see the manual is obviously slightly more fuel efficient than that automatic and the all important interior features i hope you can read all that because i'm certainly not planning on reading it all so obviously you can pause the screen if you do want to read it all let's see if we can pick some key points out at it like i say it wasn't very highly specced on there you know it's just showing things like a lockable glove box carpeted passenger compartments etc etc and this vehicle only came in silver i think it might mention that later on we do have that three spoke steering wheel though uh twin sun visors etc etc but there isn't it wasn't a particularly high spec special edition really was it it was all about those exterior looks and then the exterior on there it's telling you little bits of information and um, like black door handles and it does actually mention their silver metallic paint is the only color you could get it into um, so no other options other than silver if you did want this particular special edition of course don't forget it has that boot tailgate spoiler to make it a little bit nicer uh, or sportier i should say tinted glass all around exterior decals and name badges etc etc and there we go there we do have that dealer stamp so agj motors old church garage in pontefract and at the bottom there the voxel opal passenger car marketing voxel motors limited in luton v6268 uh, published in september 1985 and another look at those three um, emblems there the voxel one the gm1 and opal so there we go the mark ii voxel cavalier commander special edition and like i said earlier i do quite like these mark ii cavaliers i think they do have a nice sort of look um and like i said I particularly like the hatchback versions let me know if you do remember these particular special editions and like i said there were a few featuring that 1.6 liter engine thank you so much for watching course light today many more episodes to come so please do like and subscribe if you've not done already um, have a great weekend of course we're back on monday so see you soon take care and